Today we're gonna to talk about the eight most underrated suburbs in San Diego, and it's gonna start right, right now. So as you guys know, we are real estate agents here in San Diego, and we've been in every single neighborhood there is in San Diego County. Every single and one. And there are quite a bit of neighborhoods here, so it's taken a long time. But right. we're going one by one through each one. So today we are gonna talk about the top eight most underrated suburbs in San Diego. Uh, we get questions about this because we work in mostly the suburb or suburban areas of San Diego. So what is our first uh, underrated suburb? First on the list is Oceanside. And I know people love Oceanside because of its affordability. Yeah, um, as far as beach communities as go. As far as beach communities go. <laughs> in San Diego, I think it's generally yes. affordable yes. compared to a lot of the stuff in San Diego. That took me a long time to get that That did, Sorry. that did. So <laughs> the median home price for single family homes in Oceanside is 887,000. Keep in mind, that's probably not beachfront. So if you're looking for beachfront, you gotta go a little bit inland because uh, Oceanside is the third largest city in all of San Diego County. Oceanside's come a long way over the years too because they've used to, they didn't always have the best rap I think here in San Diego, but over the last five or 10 years, it's really kind of revamped a little bit. They have a beautiful downtown right on the water there. You got some new hotels down there, new restaurants, and it's kind of kind of revived that whole area over there. Uh, I also want to mention too, if you're someone who loves water sports or owns a watercraft of any type, they have a beautiful harbor marina where you can have your boat moored, docked. Um, and then right outside of that, they've got townhouses, condos, and rentals and restaurants. So you can pull your little, pull your boat in and go out to eat, hop back on the boat, cruise back down the coastline. I think that's really cool. Not a that's bad life of, right there. No, that's kind of like a special to Oceanside. <laughs> and if you're also looking for new construction, Oceanside's a good place to check out because they have a lot of new construction going up in that area. Kind of the new construction areas of San Diego are the North End and the South End and maybe a few sprinkled in, in between. East County, some, some spots yeah, as well. for sure. Okay, number two on our list of most underrated uh, suburbs in San Diego is Escondido. Another mm. one I feel like that gets a little bit of a bad rap here in San Diego. Well, so, I mean, Escondido is also- It can get hot. It can get hot and I don't it's do well in the heat. Further, yeah, that, maybe everyone. that's what you're associating, just, just being a little warm when you that's, go there. This is true. And it's, it is also quite large. So there are you know nicer parts of Escondido, maybe parts of it maybe not so nice, but there's a lot to do in Escondido. There is definitely. They have, um, again, just like Oceanside, they've been kind of revamping their main downtown area, their main street. I think Escondido has a lot of charm. I think that there's a lot of different types of home styles and architecture to choose from. You know, closer to the city center, they have some older homes that are cool, like craftsmen, or they are mid-century modern that have been kind of revamped, or what sure. you might call a little a bungalow. And then you go further afield and you can get an acre with a beautiful sure. pool and lots of landscaping. And that's kind of hard to find. It's in almost San like Poway in a way too. Yeah, sort of. I agree. It's not quite city in the country, but it's got that kind of feel to it. Right. Because they have like the more metro part of it, and then they have a more rural part of it. Yeah, so. definitely. And if you're looking for more space, that rural part, you should definitely search there because you can find kind of lower price points with more land. And I love what they're doing downtown again. So they're revamping the buildings. It's really cute. It gives me kind of like a 1950s feel. They've got like a main street with all the shops. It's so cute. Restaurants. Um, they do that car show on the weekend. They do, yeah, the and they do a so. farmer's market. I, I mean, think five I think years from now, the Grand Avenue is going to be much nicer and much more desirable than it is right now. Definitely. Just my opinion. Yeah. And the median home price in Escondido is 871,000 for single family homes. And if you're looking for townhomes or condos, it's about 550,000. So again, to find houses, Option. for under a million dollars here in San Diego County. It's kind of rare, so these are why we consider these the most underrated suburbs yeah. in San Diego. Number three on our list is the neighborhood of San Carlos, which you hear me talk about Del Cerro. You hear me too. talk about Del Cerro yeah. a lot, and San Carlos and Del Cerro go kind of hand in hand. They're right next to each other. I love the topography of this area. There's a little bit of hills, so you can get some views. The more elevation for you sure. get. I love the architecture. You know, I am a sucker for like some mid-century modern. They definitely have some cool mid-century modern there. You live in like a tract home area, so it's we nice do. when we get to go You're to these right. neighborhoods that You're are right. a little more unique when you can, you know, have different designs and character to them. Exactly. It's like when I was growing up and I'd watch the Brady Bunch and you'd see that cool house that they lived in on the Brady Bunch. Like that's what it the, looks like. Brady that's Bunch the vibe I get yeah. when I go to like San Carlos. I'm like, this is so. Cool. I feel like it's your dream to like it, live at the Brady Bunch. You're right. <laughs> I just I love all the character that those homes have. Sure, you know. Yeah. Um, and San Carlos is also really close to a lot of like outdoor nature area. They have the Mission Trails um, Regional Park, which has what like 7,000 acres. You're right near Cowles Mountain, which is a beautiful place to go 
hike if you like to hike and yeah, get people exercise. like to do it, but <laughs> I've heard. They also have Lake Murray right around the corner there, so it's got a lot of charm and character to it, and there's just a lot to do in that area. Tell us I, about the location, too. The location is super central. You're probably only about, what, 15 minutes to downtown. downtown. If you're looking for something more, if you work downtown, San Carlos is a really right. good place to check out. Actually, I just heard that the, they rezoned some of the schools over there, and they've actually gotten better rankings now with oh, the wow. way they rezoned it. So Great. if you're looking for an area that has good schools and close to downtown, I would definitely check out San Carlos. I like it. And the median home price in San Carlos is about 900 $150,000. Making it one of our top eight most underrated suburbs in San Diego. Okay, next on our list, this is number, what are we on? Number four, four of most underrated suburbs is Carmel Mountain Ranch. Mm -hmm. Carmel Mountain Ranch is actually, we don't probably talk about that much because it's relatively small. I think there's only 11,300 residents or so in Carmel Mountain Ranch, but it is super centrally located at the corner of like the 15 freeway and the 56 freeway. Yes. There's tons of shopping in this area. Mm -hmm. It's in the Poway Unified School District. So Great I feel space. like it just kind of goes under the radar a little bit. People don't all know about it. There's a, you know, there's a Costco over there. There's an Ann Alberger. Mm -hmm. Well, are my favorite movie theaters located in Carmel Mountain Ranch? Oh, the Angelica. Yep. For such a small area, it actually has a lot going for it. Packs a big punch. It does for, for a small, small package. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> I really like some of the neighborhoods over there. There's a couple surprisingly gated communities in there. there. Little pockets, mm -hmm. if that's your, if that's your bag. If you want to, you know, be totally enclosed, I'd say there's maybe three or four nice uh, neighborhoods with single family homes. They also have some townhouses and condos over there that are pretty reasonably priced. And there is some new construction coming to the Carmel Mountain Ranch this is area. It's true. The trails at Carmel Mountain Ranch, I think it's called. So yeah. this was where the old golf course used to be. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be bringing 1,200 homes to this area. So as far as new construction goes in this little pocket, like the 56 corridor, there's like nothing. There's right. like a, some townhomes in Pacific Island Ranch, and then you got Poway, you have uh, the farm at uh, Poway. Yes. So to have 1,200 homes come to this area is it gonna be a welcome addition to this area. And I think this could be one of the perfect places for first time home buyers to check out because hopefully they're gonna be affordable. They haven't released pricing on this yet. And they're probably mostly gonna be townhomes, which I think we need more townhomes and condos in this vicinity because people cannot, you know, first time home buyers cannot afford the right. purchase price of single family homes over sure. here. Yeah. And they're, they've already talked it up a great deal about how they're gonna include walking trails and, and nature and, and, parks, have, and parks, I mean, which is great. I think a lot of new communities are sort of going in that direction. They know that that's what um, home buyers are looking for yeah. and would like. They want ease of use, they want proximity to restaurants and coffee shops, good and they schools. just, and good schools. Yep, exactly. That's pretty so, much what all first time home buyers are looking nice for. Nice job, Common Mountain Ranch. The median home price there is 1.175 million. That's for single family home, and then condos, townhomes, about 692,000. Yeah. So semi reasonably priced here, at least right. for this North County, San Diego, yeah. so. Number five on our list is San Marcos. And I just was saying, I feel like we talk about San Marcos well, a lot. We about it a few times. We do, yeah. but it is kind of underrated. More people are finding out about it. I do think that they're having a little bit of a boom with construction and the expansion of Cal State San Marcos College. I think know. it's like Carlsbad's little brother kind of thing. Everyone, because oh. it's right next, like butts up right next to Carlsbad. Did you just make that up? Did I did. You hear that? I just made that up. Carlsbad's so, little brother. Yes. I mean, it's <laughs> usually a little bit less expensive than Carlsbad. Maybe not even a little bit, like mm -hmm. a decent amount. And a little they further also, inland. A little further inland, a little quieter. You're not right against the beach, but you could be at the beach in what, 15? Sure minutes or yeah. so. They're also building like a new downtown up in uh, San Marcos. I think it's called North City. So there's this huge area that they're building. There's also tons of new construction up there. Yes. But as far as the, the new village downtown they're building up there, it's supposed to be pretty cool. It's going to be a very mixed use with, uh, you know, parking on the outside and you walk into the middle. Yeah. Kind of what our Merge 56 was supposed, supposed to be. Supposed to be, yeah. Unfortunately, that, the plan has changed a little bit. So I just think it's probably going to be one of the more desirable places to go for a reasonable price. Yes. Because the median home price there in San Marcos is just, just under 1.1. Just over, yeah, just over a million. And then you can do townhomes or condos for about 700,000. And yes. the schools score really well on- San Marcos has schools. its own school district. And yep. then typically they are rated pretty high, usually yeah. around that eight, nine range. When we range. talk about it, like the more I like it and I wish that I already, I wish I already lived there. They yeah. also have some cool architecture. They have a lake up there that has like its own culture. Like you could be lake people. Sure. You know, people have boats, people have person. restaurants. Yeah. yeah, there's there's restaurants right around the lake there. It's really cool. 
They have homes on golf courses. They have homes that are sort of elevated on the mountain there with sure. a view. They have more tract home style yeah, stuff. Double, double Peak Mountain double up there. Peak, yeah, places. Double You can peak see like all of North County, San Park, Diego. Yeah. I also went up to Draft Republic in San Marcos recently. Ooh. It has a the bowling alley inside it. Yeah. Super cool place to go with kids and family and that Man, sort of thing. So. I'm the more I talk about it, I'm just... I think I just sold her on it. I this is what we do. I want to be there. <laughs> now I want to be there. All right, next on our list, I feel like this one goes a little underrated because we don't talk about it as much, but it is a yeah. very desirable place to live. Yeah. The town of Scripps Ranch, um, Scripps Ranch, which is located just off the 15 freeway, kind of just south of where we are off the 56 freeway. I feel like Scripps Ranch feels a little more um, neighborhoody, like uh, Poway, a lot of the homes can be spread out. A lot of them feel like, you know, you have homes up on the hills that are sort of like estate homes where someone has a large lot of land. I feel like Scripps Ranch feels a little bit more like a planned community and even the homes that do have more space Definitely, yes. are in a community, For within sure. a community instead of just being like a standalone home. Yes, because well, Poway is a little bit more feels more that way than versus Scripps so. Ranch. Yeah. We did a video on the Scripps Ranch not too long ago and we were actually worried we weren't gonna have enough things to show off in Scripps Ranch. so much. But we actually found way more thought, things than we thought. Also your favorite French bakery is also Oh my gosh, the French Ranch. oven is over there. They've got the swim and tennis club. They've got- Two of them, two swim and yeah, tennis clubs. Yeah, two clubs. swim and tennis clubs. I love the homes. The schools are great. It's a tight knit community. They've got nice shopping. I love that it aesthetically looks a little bit different. They've got tons of eucalyptus trees. So you kind of feel like you're in a little a grove that's right you know? i love the eucalyptus trees those i do are, too those are awesome i do too they give you lots of shade while you're yeah so I, a little I, bit high. i've recently been over there with clients i had a couple clients that were all interested in homes in scripps ranch so i feel like recently i've spent um, quite a bit of time there and I just have really come to enjoy that area. For sure. So the median home price for Scripps Ranch is a little bit on the higher side, which is, they almost didn't make our underrated list, mm -hmm. uh, but it's at $1.6 million. So you got to have a little bit bigger budget yeah. to afford there. But they also have some townhomes and condo options that can bring you a little bit more on the affordable side. About 800,000. Another good thing about Scripps Ranch, it is located a little bit farther south, so it's not quite in North County. So if you do have to like commute downtown mm -hmm. or other parts of San Diego, it makes it a little bit easier because if you're up in like San Marcos area, the commute can be much longer. Right? Getting downtown, you mean? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, number seven on our list of most underrated suburbs in San Diego is Chula Vista. One we don't probably give as much love to on the channel as much as we should because we live in North County and we don't get down to Chula Vista. a little Vista bit of a hike. Much. There's so much going on down there. There's new construction happening. There's just new builds, I mean, within the last five years. So the chance of getting a sure. shiny new home are pretty good. It's like um, the San Marcos of the South. Oh, sort of. A lot of new construction down there. Just coming up with <laughs> a lot of things to do. <laughs> Exactly, I'm just full of like, things on there. <laughs> trademark, exactly. I mean, trademark. Write that down. Yeah. Um, they also have a lot of things going on down in Chula Vista, like you yeah. said, new construction, new restaurants. It's just a lot of new planned communities. They also have an Olympic training facility down there yeah. in Chula Vista. They also have Sesame Place, yes. which I just went to, Sesame Place Water Park, which I just took my kids to this past week um, for end of summer Nice shenanigans. So watch out for a video on that. Cal Coast Credit Union Open uh, Amphitheater. That's right, which I've Did actually I never been right? to. It's a mouthful. It was pretty close. I have been there. That's an amazing place to see a show they have concerts all throughout the year they get really big names and it's beautiful it's lovely so I mean that's a really cool uh, thing to go do when you're in it just happen to be in Chula Vista yeah the only real yeah. negative of probably being in Chula Vista is like trying to get out of there sometimes at rush hour times it can be a bit of a bottleneck it's a trying to get out of there traffic -wise. so just keep yeah. that in mind if you're considering Chula Vista mm -hmm. and the median home price for Chula Vista is a very reasonable eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars for single family homes steal and if you're looking for townhomes or condos it's about six hundred and thirty five thousand last on our list near and dear to our hearts because this is the neighborhood we never talk about this we live in ever. is Rancho Panasquitos or PQ as locals call it. There's lots of nicknames actually. Um, won't go into those. That's for another video. <laughs> it's underrated, I would say. It's a wonderful community. It's it, it a tight-knit community. There are some older homes, not a ton of new construction just because there really isn't space. There's a lot of pride of ownership in this area. So yes, I think people definitely. are proud to be a PQ resident for yeah. the most part. So there's also a lot of community activities here. We have just like the Little League here in Rancho Penasquitas is yeah. very tight knit. Everybody knows each other. Yeah. It's very well run. Older PQ is probably 80s and 90s. And then the newer part, like Torrey Highlands, is right. 2000 and above. And it's just super centrally located. The reason why we moved over here is because it's like sort of right in the middle of San Diego. Sure. 56 Freeway kind of divides like north and south San mm -hmm. Diego. So it's just very easy to get around, even with 
traffic, you know, you get a little traffic on the five or the 15 or 56, but we have multiple options to go throughout. That's right, I like that. So you're sort of equidistant between the five and the 15. For sure. I love that actually. Yes. The schools are great. Obviously that goes without saying it's in Poway Unified. There's great hiking, mountain biking. We've got a nature preserve, the Del Mar Mesa Preserve that's right here in PQ. It's just a wonderful place to be. There is some new construction, but not a ton. How um, quickly can you be to the beach? 12 minutes. If you drive like Courtney, you can be there in 12, 12 minutes. 12 minutes. <laughs> Easy to Torrey Pines, for sure. And the median home price in Rancho Penasquitas is $1.327 million, so a little bit more affordable than like the Scripps Ranch, but a little bit more than like Carmel Mountain Ranch. Yes. So it's kind of right that, that sweet spot in between. And then the median home price for condos and townhomes is about $527,000. There's actually not a ton of condos and townhomes in, in Rancho Penasquitas, so that number is a little skewed, I think. Yeah. Okay, so that was our list of most underrated suburbs in San Diego. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If this is your first time to our channel, please subscribe to our channel as we post new videos every week. And if you're ever looking to buy or sell here in San Diego, we'd love to help you out. Thanks for watching and catch us next time. Bye. Bye.